My name is Kerry Farr, and I want to take a moment to share the greatest news with you that the world has ever known. It's called the gospel. The word gospel means good news. And the good news, before I read this passage of Scripture to you in 1 Corinthians 15, verses 1 through 4, simply means that Jesus Christ came to earth, became a human being, lived 33 years, died, willingly gave his life on a cross called Calvary, was buried, and then rose again the third day to save sinners of whom I'm chief. So Paul says over here in 1 Corinthians verse uh, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 1, he says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel, or the good news, which I preached unto you. He preached it to them when he was there in Corinth. Which also you have received, Paul said, wherein you stand. This is, you know, this is what you stand in. This is what you believe in. Verse 2 says, By which also are you saved. You're saved. That word saved means delivered, delivered from eternal death or eternal separation from God because of the gospel. He says, verse 3, For I delivered unto you, first of all, how that Christ died for our sins. Jesus Christ died for your sins, my sins, the sins of the entire world. According to the scriptures, it was told in this book, Thousands of years ago. And notice, he died, verse 4 says, he was buried. He stayed in the grave three days to prove that he was dead and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Now, this is a historical fact. After Jesus died, was buried, and rose again, he says he was seen of Cephas and then of the twelve. He was seen by all of the disciples and after that, he was seen of about 500 Christian people, believers in Jesus Christ at one time. Jesus Christ is alive, and the fact that he arose from the dead shows that he has the power to resurrect us from the dead. My friend, if you've never received Jesus Christ, I want to invite you today to ask him to come into your life and save you from your sins. All you have to do is, it, is it's as easy as AB3. A, admit that you're a sinner. Admit that you've done something wrong in your life. B, believe in Jesus Christ. And C, confess Him as your Lord and Savior. When I became a Christian, I was chasing sin. And then I said to Jesus Christ, in a prayer, Lord, I'm going to turn from my sin. So I turned, I repented of my sin turned away from it, and started chasing him instead of chasing sin. If you're willing to do that, friend, all you have to do is say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. Forgive me my sin. Come into my heart and save me. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. My friend, let me pray for you. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray, and I lead this person in the sinner's prayer. Lord, I realize I'm a sinner. I ask you to forgive me my sins. I want to turn away from my sins and receive you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, if you prayed that prayer and meant it, you are now a part of the family of God. And if you've prayed that prayer and would like more help or more information, I'd like to know about it. My email address is right below this video, kwfar at gmail.com. That's my personal email address. Email me and let me know you've been saved. I'll pray for you and I will respond to you. Thank you, my friend.